Hello friends, my name is Vijay Kumar and we are studying rapid section of electrostatics. In the last video, I told about the cyclometric development of cyclometric charge. I explained how the cyclometric charge was produced. Now in this video, we will draw all the lines of the cyclometric charge and we will understand how these lines are drawn. This one is the omega special temperature. First line you will draw constant driver temperature line. That means the line which is constant temperature, driver temperature line. That means driver temperature is constant. And driver temperature is on this axis. By say this is x axis. Then on this axis, driver temperature is there. Constant temp driver temperature line, that means this is on the this is the constant. At this point, everywhere driver temperature is same. Like this, these are the constant driver temperature lines. Okay, whatever is the temperature here, that will be the same at this line. If it is temperature is this point is P1, then here is also P1, here is also P1. Like this, if it is P2, then at every point it is P2. This is constant driver temperature line. Let's see the next line, constant specific humidity line. If I draw constant specific humidity line, this is a cyclometric chart, this is omega, and this one is driver temperature. So friends, see here, this is omega, this is specific humidity and the specific humidity is constant. That means, suppose this point I think it is constant, so line will go like this. This one is the constant specific humidity line. If here is omega 1, then at every point it is omega. If I say it is omega 2, then at every point it is omega 2. So these are the constant specific humidity line. Constant driver temperature line are vertical and constant specific humidity line are horizontal you can easily see. Now let's see constant relative humidity curve. Oh sorry I Forget to draw the saturation curve here. Suppose this one is the saturation curve. And this one is the saturation curve. Because this, uh, without this curve, psychometric charge has no meaning. You have to draw this curve also. Okay. This is the saturation curve. We will see the constant relative humidity curve. This is cyclometric chart, this is driver temperature, and this is omega. And this is saturation curve. I have already told what is saturation curve or saturation line. The line at which humidity is 100%. Humidity is 100%. During the concept of humidity, I explained about that the saturation air, saturated air has 100% humidity. Okay, so at this point, this is the saturation curve. So this one has a humidity 100%. This one has the humidity 100%. As we go down, as we go down, humidity will reduce. These are the saturation curves. Suppose this, this is 90% and 
and this one is eighteen percent. So, so as we go down the humidity, will, these are the humidity curve, constant relative humidity curve on cyclone. Let's see next the constant specific volume curve. Constant specific volume curve. This one is the circulation curve. How the constant specific volume lines are drawn? How the constant specific volume lines are drawn? These lines are drawn like this. These are the constant specific volume line you will see on the cytometric chart like this. These are the constant specific volume line. Let's see next what lines are drawn on the cytometric chart. Constant specific enthalpy line. You know very well what is enthalpy? Enthalpy is CPA into T plus. Omega into gate B plus CP B. You know this one is the formula for specific enthalpy. Now, assume assume enthalpy is sixty. Take temperature T one. Any temperature is 30 degrees. Then you can get the value of omega. Then you can find. You will find. Omega. Suppose if I say at one, at one, then you will find. In the same way, if you take same enthalpy, 60. But here now temperature you take T2 is. 25 degrees. 25 degrees Celsius. Then you will find omega 3. You will get some omega 3. For, because we are drawing the constant enthalpy line. That's why I have taken same enthalpy. But for different, different temperature, we will get different omega. Now we will draw this line. This is variable temperature and this is omega and this separation. On this, there is a scale. On the chart, there is a scale. On this scale, we will find out the value of the specific enthalpy. We will find out the Value of specific enthalpy. Now suppose I have gone higher than enthalpy. What enthalpy I have taken? 60. This one. Suppose I have taken enthalpy 60. H1 is equal to 60. If I say H, this is H1 is equal to H2, then enthalpy is constant. For this enthalpy, First, I am not drawing, I am taking the how this line will draw on the curve. I have taken enthalpy 60, then I will get some temperature. For this temperature, 30 degree. This is the 30. Then I will get omega. So this will point, this point we will find, we will get. In the same way, enthalpy is 60, temperature is 25, and the omega is, you will get omega 2. So suppose you will get this point. Both these points we will connect. We will connect this both these points. The line will draw like this. I have drawn this line already, but uh, you have to understand that these two points. First, I will find out this point for this enthalpy. Then I will find this point for this enthalpy. 
And this is a scale on which we will find out the value of specific. Here I have drawn, here I have forget to tell you one thing the constant special volume line. The volume will increase from this point to this point. Suppose here 0.8, here 0.85, here 0.9, and 0.10. The like this special volume will increase. These lines. On this line, this person will be like this, in the right side. Let's see the constant dew point temperature line. You know very well that this one is the temperature and entropy axis and this is the saturation curve of water. What is dew point temperature, you know? This is the primary temperature, if I say. And this one is the dew point temperature. The dew point temperature we will achieve after the de superheating of the unsaturated air at constant pressure. At constant pressure. That means, that means dew point temperature line. Or suppose if I say dew point temperature depends on partial pressure of vapor. So this is the partial pressure of vapor line. And dew point temperature is and it is constant. And it is constant. Because the area of this line, partial pressure vapor is constant. So, dew point temperature depends on PV and it is a constant. Now, we know that omega is a function of partial pressure of vapor. So, dew point temperature line, dew point temperature. Depends on PV. So, dew point temperature depends on PV, or in turn, if I say not PV, it is depends on omega. Now, PV is constant. PV is constant. If PV is constant, then this omega will also constant. That means dew point temperature line will follow constant omega line. Constant omega. First point you have to remember. The dew point temperature at this point depends on PV. And PV is constant. And PV is constant and omega depends on PV. Because omega is a function of PV, I have already told this. So if PV is constant, then omega is also constant. So for constant omega, that is dry, dew point temperature line will follow the constant omega line. This first point you have to remember. Now, if I draw cyclometric charge, and this one is omega. In this saturation curve, that means it will follow constant omega line. That that means horizontal line. If I write here horizontal. 
Now we will see the direction. In which direction this line will travel or will follow which direction? The dew point line will follow like this or like this? That we have to see. We know that the dew point temperature at this point, that means at saturation point. Dew point temperature is at saturation point. So, dew point temperature is of saturation point. That means at this point, if I draw at this point. So, this line will not start from here. That means left to right, it will not start. This line will start from saturation This way. If I draw another line, this one will be the dew point temperature. So, like this, dew point temperature lines are drawn. These dew point temperature lines follow the constant omega line and start from the saturation curve. Let's see the next line constant verbal temperature line. Let's see this line. Though there is a slight deviation between the constant enthalpy and constant verbal temperature line. There is a slight deviation between constant and thermal line, which I have already told, and constant vapor temperature, which I have to draw. For all calculation purposes, they, these lines are taken to be same. That means the constant vapor temperature line will follow the constant and line. Constant vapor temperature line will follow the constant. And then we write if I draw this, this was the constant and then we write. And here the scale was there. If I draw here the scale was there. On this scale and then I was calculating. And on this temperature reading is also there. On this curve. Temperature reading is also there. Temperature reading. Temperature reading for viewpoint temperature and web temperature. For viewpoint temperature, line will travel from saturation curve to this direction and will follow the constant omega line. Web temperature line will follow the constant and thermal line. If I say at this point, whatever temperature at this point, that will be vertical temperature. At this temperature, at this point, if enthalpy is intersecting, that means this, at this point, the vertical temperature is this. Suppose it is T. So, constant vertical temperature line will follow the constant and thermal line. So friends, in this video, we have seen the psychometric lines, all the lines which we have drawn on the psychometric chart. In the next video, we will see, we will see the psychometric processes. Thanks for watching this video and have a good day.